Enjoyed some uh, bright sunshine at times over the past couple of days, even if that hasn't helped temperatures very much. Uh, but we've done okay. We man managed to reach six degrees yesterday for high temperature. That is the warmest we have been since last Friday. So, uh, boy, a long spell of uh, really cold weather just goes on and on. And today, I think we'll maybe improve on that by a degree or two. But looking now at uh, some of the imagery from yesterday, one of our viewers just outside of Rochester snapped this picture. This is from Barb Sorensen, uh, who enjoyed that beautiful sunset on a very cold day with the high above zero. And in fact, right now we're still above zero on the weather patio. It's two degrees here at KTTC. The winds out of the north uh, at six miles per hour that yields a wind chill of nine below zero. Air pressure is steady. High pressure nearby and it hasn't moved much. It's going to stick around for the next couple of days, uh, keeping our winds relatively calm or very light, uh, but also keeping the atmosphere very dry and very cold. A lot of cold Canadian air blowing into the area right now. Zero right now at the airport. That's actually an improvement over the past couple of hours, so we're doing well. well we're going in the right direction, seemingly at, least at this point. It's now two degrees above zero in Mason City, three in Albert Lee, and one in Winona. Zero again at the airport. It feels like 12 below. The winds six miles per hour, so a fairly light breeze. Of course, when you get down to zero or, or even colder, really doesn't take much wind to really knock that uh, wind chill down into some pretty troublesome territory. So a rather cold morning still nonetheless at this point. Air pressure steady 30.47 inches of mercury. Clouds in place. Some flurries in parts of western and central Iowa. Just south of us. We're going to stick with dry weather though for today. This band of clouds will slowly erode. High pressure nearby will keep things pretty bright and quiet. A little disturbance that's producing the clouds will skip aside to the east pretty quickly here this morning. Zero right now at the airport in Rochester. Is eight in Des Moines up north. Double digits below zero. This is an all too familiar scenario. We had this yesterday, but some of that really cold air has retreated for at least today anyway. 12 below in Duluth, 25 below zero in International Falls. We we'll have gradual clearing today, some single digit near double digit highs. A couple of spots I have no doubt will reach the teens above zero. Uh, some snow tomorrow, a very cold snow, right around zero for those temperatures. So fluffy accumulation expected about an inch or so. A little more snow over the weekend with some very cold air still in place, at least through the weekend before we see improvement down the road. One below for that morning commute. Clouds, a light northwest wind. Day plan of today, though, the clouds will have. Those will slowly clear off around 9 or 10 o'clock this morning. Then we see that afternoon sunshine helping us reach 70 degrees by 3 o'clock. Overall high temperatures right around 8 degrees today. Still about 20 degrees below average, though, and then around 10 to 15 below zero later tonight, even colder than last night. And wind chill levels today will improve, at least with the fairly light breeze and temperatures above zero. We'll see those wind chill levels around five below zero, so slightly better than some of the misery we've endured recently. But high pressure sticks around. There it is, uh, planted or northwest. We'll have erosion on that cloud cover today. We'll stick with uh, sunshine this afternoon, a fairly uh, at least tame northwest breeze. Daytime highs around eight above. Tonight, uh, clear with uh, some very cold weather. And tomorrow, clouds slowly come in for our Thursday. First thing in the morning, we'll have snow coming in to the area around 9, 10, 11 o'clock in, in the late morning hours into the afternoon. Uh, periods of snow until uh, the end of the evening commute. Then things will dry out. The storm system comes in for the south and west may graze the area with another chance of light snow late Friday into Saturday. At this point, Thursday snow about an inch or so of accumulation. And then we'll look ahead at uh, some really cold weather this weekend with a chance of another uh, dose of snow Friday night and Saturday morning before we see some improvement in those temperatures down the road. Eight degrees in Rochester today, nine in Mason City. Six in Owatonna, partly sunny morning clouds, at least for a couple of hours. Northwest winds around 10 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy, a low of 10 below, and the wind chill as cold as 25 below, so even colder than last night. And the seven-day forecast, we have that chance of snow again Friday night and Saturday morning, and then a drier outlook for uh, Valentine's Day, and we see some slight improvement with those temperatures next week. Might even see double digits by next Wednesday, Jess. So we're going in that direction down the road. Until then, we're going to enjoy today one of the warmest days until we get to that point. That's true.